Los Angeles County, the most populated county in the U.S., will once again require people to wear masks indoors, regardless of vaccination status, due to a recent surge in new COVID-19 cases. The startling change, announced exactly a month after California became one of the last in the country to reopen and drop coronavirus mandates, aims to stun an uptick in new cases combined with the spread of the highly infectious Delta variant. It will go into effect at 11.59 p.m. Saturday. This is an all-hands-on-deck moment, the county's health officer, Dr. Muntu Davis, said during a Thursday afternoon press briefing. The nation is averaging about 25,300 new cases per day, more than double the rate of the week of June 22. The total rose in 48 states, all but Iowa and South Dakota. Still, the totals represent only about 10% of the numbers reported in the U.S. in its worst week in January. Deaths also rose in most states, and deaths and infections are also once again rising globally. The World Health Organization reported deaths climbed last week after nine straight weeks of decline. It recorded more than 55,000 lives lost, a 3% increase from the week before. Cases rose 10% last week to nearly 3 million, WHO said. Low vaccination rates, the relaxation of mask rules and other precautions, and the swift spread of the more contagious Delta variant are blamed. Sarah McCool, a professor of public health at Georgia State University, said the combination amounts to a recipe for a potential tinderbox. Joining a growing list of medical centers across the country, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital will require all employees to be vaccinated against COVID-19, the hospital confirmed in an email Thursday. The number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits has reached its lowest level since the pandemic struck last year. Rich Eisen, who anchors special event coverage for the NFL Network, is quarantining with COVID-19 despite having received both doses of the Pfizer vaccine in February, according to an Instagram post Thursday. USA Basketball National Team guard Bradley Beal, one of the NBA's leading scorers, has been placed in health and safety protocols just days before the start of the Olympics, a person familiar with the development told USA Today Sports. His availability for the games was uncertain. Coronavirus infections in the Britain hit another six-month high Thursday, while the number of COVID-19 deaths was the highest since late March. The government warned that 100,000 daily infections may be possible this summer. Nebraska will resume reporting coronavirus statistics after dropping the practice a week ago after public health experts widely criticized the decision. The updates will be weekly rather than daily. New coronavirus cases leapt in New York in the week ending Sunday, rising 66 percent, state and national records show. The U.S. is shipping more than 3.2 million doses of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine to the Philippines.